Central Europe in mid-June. A garden somewhere in Bavaria. The heat of early summer brings life into every corner. And these ants are very busy taking care of their nest. Building, cleaning, keeping the nest safe. All that makes them very hungry. To keep up their busy lives, the ants are constantly on the prowl for a juicy, energizing protein bomb. And in the neighborhood, they seem to have just found that. A colony of plant juice sucking pests on the stem of a flower. Okay then, popcorn everyone, let the carnage begin. Now, uh, no. Come on, buddy, you, you just need to. Now, look, n no. What's going on? Just eat them already. But, wait a moment, what did the end do to the bug? Let's look at that again. No doubt, the ants are not killing anyone, but instead drink a clear fluid from the rear end of the bugs, known as aphids. They are parasitic insects, living on the stems of plants, extracting juices rich in sugars, converting them into this clear anal fluid with a poetic, almost romantic name, honeydew. The ants are attracted by the honeydew being an easily accessible source of sugar. Their presence provides active protection for the aphids in return. So it's open to interpretation whether the aphids use the honeydew like a currency to pay the ants for their protection or whether the ants are mafiosi collecting their pizzo. A, a what? A, no, no, not pizza. Pizzo, which is protection money in Italian. The ants stimulate the rear of the aphids with a caressing motion of their feelers and wait then until the sugary goodness is secreted. If the ants are mobsters, they are definitely the gentlest mafiosi the world has ever seen. I'm curious though what would happen if the aphids refused to pay. However, this species of pavement ant learned to domesticate cattle. So humans are definitely not the only species on this planet engaging in animal husbandry. Which honestly is a pretty mind-blowing fact, especially if you witness it with your own eyes. And may curiosity your honeydew.